begin with that breaking news. At least five people shot tonight in West Englewood. One victim just eight years old. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live outside of Comer Children's Hospital tonight with more on what led to the gunfire and the chaos that followed. Jeremy. And good evening, Jim. Anxious, concerned parents pacing in and outside of the hospital area behind us. Investigators telling us they continue to look for shell casings. They also continue to look for those responsible. Three people are shot after five to six shots were fired. Oh my God. And I'm scared. Danger and chaos were followed by the sirens of Chicago police at Sealy near 63rd. The sounds included parents yelling. People was crying, mom was crying. Like screaming, like, where's my baby? And they get the shooting, I'm like, oh. Neighbor Malvin Loggers describes the gunfire. I was like, don't, 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 don't. Anybody get shot? Anybody get shot? I'm running, I'm getting behind a car. Yeah, the boy, he got shot and they started pointing at the ground. They holding his chest and I'm like, oh my God. I think it was his mother putting the, the pressure on his chest. Police say that eight-year-old boy was one of two children shot in this neighborhood. The other, a 10-year-old girl, at least half a dozen injured by gunfire. You got multiple ambulances en route. Ten shots fired. Caller says a bullet went through her window. A witness says a car stopped outside of a home and began shooting at someone nearby. That person fired back. People reacting to the gunfire also began shooting. A potentially deadly exchange in range of a gathering celebrating family a, a baby shower it was a baby shower it was a, then that man that just makes it all worse i don't never really expect it to happen to what happened parents can't even organize that baby shower and, and and have to worry about the effects of gun violence hitting their home during the party now police are telling us that that eight and a 10 year old are in stable condition a 29 year old in a separate hospital in critical condition at least three others being treated this evening no one is in custody in connection with this ongoing investigation. Live outside of Children's Hospital, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jim. Jeremy, thank you. 